Welcome to ASU's University Academic Success Programs. This video will cover the topic Matrix Addition, Subtraction, Scalar Multiplication, and Matrix Multiplication. We will begin by looking at Matrix Addition. For Matrix Addition, we must have two matrices with the same dimensions. The two matrices we will use are A is equal to row 1, 1, 4, row 2, 3, 5. Matrix B is equal to row 1, 7, 3, row 2, 4, 8. Now we can add matrix A to matrix B. This will look like A plus B is equal to row 1, A11 one one plus B11, one one, A12 one plus B12, row 2, A 2, 1 plus B, 2, 1, and A, 2, 2 plus B, 2, 2. Since this is the form of addition we must follow, we can now insert our values and solve. When we substitute in the values, we will have A plus B is equal to row 1, 1 plus 7, 4 plus 3, row 2, 3 plus 4, 5 plus 8. This will result in A plus B is equal to row 1, 8, 7, row 2, 7, 13. This will be our final answer. Now we can look at matrix subtraction. Okay, how would we go about doing this? We do this by using the same concept as matrix addition except we will subtract instead of add. We will continue to use matrix A and matrix B for this example. Let's begin by looking at how to subtract matrix B from matrix A. This will look like A minus B is equal to row 1 A11 one one minus B11 one one, A12 one minus B12 row 2 A 2, 1 minus B, 2, 1, and A, 2, 2 minus B, 2, 2. We can now insert the values and solve. When we insert our values, we will get A minus B is equal to row 1, 1 minus 7, 4 minus 3, row 2, 3 minus 4, and 5 minus 8. Now we can solve. This will give us A minus B is equal to row 1, negative 6, 1, row 2, negative 1, negative 3. This will be our final answer. We will now look at scalar multiplication. What's the scalar? Great question. A scalar is a quantity that only has magnitude and not direction. This means that it is one number and not a matrix. We will begin by multiplying the scalar 5 against matrix A. This will look like 5 times A is equal to 5 times the matrix row 1, 1, 4, row 2, 3, 5. We now multiply the scalar into the matrix. This will look like 5A is equal to row 1, 5 times 1, 5 times 4, row 2, 5 times 3, and 5 times 5. We now solve to get 5a is equal to row 1, 5, 20, row 2, 15, 25. This is the final answer of the scalar 5 times matrix A. Okay, that makes sense, but now how do we multiply two matrices together? Great question! In this next example, we will walk through how to do matrix multiplication. For this example, we will use matrix C, which will be a 2 by 3 matrix, and matrix D, which will be a 3 by 2 matrix. C is equal to row 1, 1, 2, 3, row 2, 4, 5, 6. D is equal to row 1, 7, 8, row 2, 9, 10, row 3, 11, 12. In order to multiply two matrices together, 
the number of columns in the first matrix must be the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. Since matrix C has three columns and matrix D has three rows, therefore, since they match, they can be multiplied together as matrix C times matrix D. Before we multiply the matrices together, we must know what type of matrix we will end in. Since we multiply a 2 by 3 matrix and a 3 by 2 matrix together, our result will be the number of rows in matrix C by the number of columns in matrix D. This will give us a 2 by 2 matrix. Now that we know, we can multiply the matrices together and what type of matrix the product will be, we can now begin the problem. We begin matrix multiplication by taking the dot product of the first row of C and the first column of D. This will look like 1, 2, 3, dot, 7, 9, 11 is equal to 1 times 7 plus 2 times 9 plus 3 times 11 is equal to 58. We now know that 58 will be in the 1, 1 position of the answer matrix. Now to find the number for the 1, 2 position on the answer matrix, we'll take the dot product of the first row of matrix C in the second column of matrix D. This will look like 1, 2, 3, dot, 8, 10, 12 is equal to 1 times 8 plus 2 times 10 plus 3 times 12 is equal to 64. We now find the number in the 2, 1 position by taking the dot product of the second row of matrix C in the first column of matrix D. This will give us 4, 5, 6, dot, 7, 9, 11 is equal to 4 times 7 plus 5 times 9 plus 6 times 11 is equal to 139. We can now find the last number in the 2, 2 position by taking the dot product of the second row of matrix C in the second column of matrix D. This will give us 4, 5, 6, dot, 8, 10, 12 is equal to 4 times 8 plus 5 times 10 plus 6 times 12. Since we know the numbers and what position they will be in, we can now write out our solution. This will give us matrix C times matrix D is equal to row 1, 1, 2, 3, row 2, 4, 5, 6, times row 1, 7, 8, row 2, 9, 10, row 3, 11, 12 is equal to the answer matrix, row 1, 58, 64, row 2, 139, 154. This will be our final answer for matrix multiplication. Okay, I think I understand, but just to make sure, let me go over the topics. For matrix addition, we add the numbers in the same rows and columns together. We do the same for matrix subtraction, except we subtract instead of add. For scalar multiplications, we multiply each number in the matrix by the scalar. Finally, for the matrix multiplication, we take the dot products of the rows and the columns in order to find out which numbers will be used in the matrix. That's great! You got it! Now all you need is a bit more practice.